As I say, this is what happens in family law. There is, when I found out that in, in America, the American justice system, there's one branch of the legal system that doesn't provide a presumption of innocence, and that's family law. So terrorists, murderers, rapists, pedophiles, they all get a presumption of innocence. But in family law, you don't. So when he was thrown into that cauldron, uh, that quagmire with the cartel of family law, as I call it, he was done. Uh, they were both done to a degree, but she, you know, initiated the the divorce proceedings, and it was just all over it. So it's all stemmed from that, really. Yeah, and you, you talk about it in your book. Um, you're going through a crazy similar thing with your family as well, right? I did for six, well, I have for six years now. It all started in 2015. Yeah, sim, uh, the, the cartel of family law showed up on my doorstep and uh, I had no idea that they had this much power, but they removed me from my home, um, stole my freedom, kidnapped my children, or I was dadnapped, if you will, and destroyed my family. And then I found out that this has happened to hundreds of thousands of parents and partners and children across America and has been for decades. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to write about this. I'm going to tell my story and, and tell the story of many other parents and families. Yeah, that's why we, have, we wanted to have you on today because actually a, a lot of our listeners are military mm. um, and they're all going through or have gone through nasty divorces. I mean, I can't name one of our friends who hasn't, I don't think. Uh, anybody that's had a divorce that I know, except for, well, no, pretty much everybody. Everybody, yeah. Uh, it's been pretty bad. Pretty bad. Mm. And um, they never tell the father's side of it because you, you're right. Um, usually, you know, custody goes to the mom unless something's really bad. Um, and then your life as a father can be stripped away from you pretty much overnight or, or whenever the judge decides it. What happened to you exactly? Well, yeah, it's not even when the judge decides it. It's literally the law, law enforcement used to have discretion when they're called out on domestic violence institute, uh, uh, allegations, which has become the new silver bullet uh, because they're believed and the dad is removed from the home yeah. uh, or the father or the man is removed from the home for the most part based on a hearsay allegation, loses his livelihood many times um, and his, his job, his ability to work, his children. And there are shocking stories of, you know, military uh, soldiers who come back from tours of duty and they're hit with this silver bullet and they've they've been facing bullets to give us our freedom and our liberties in america and then they come home to be eviscerated by the legal system and family law and have nowhere to turn to and nowhere to go right it's and they disgusting. hit them from pretty much every they hit them from pretty much every direction if somebody files uh, a tro on the temporary restraining order on you if you're in the military or, or police officer as well, by the way. <clears throat> There's something called the Lautenberg Amendment that precludes anybody from using a weapon on duty mm -hmm. if they're currently under investigation or being charged with any kind of domestic violence crime at all, which means that soldier or police officer gets pulled out of their duties, like they're not allowed to do their job anymore, regardless if there's any truth. And then if they get proven innocent at the end of the day, there's no recourse for having lost wages or whatever the fuck, right? Yeah. I mean, it, you, if you think about the way a police officer or a soldier's career uh, progresses based on experience, you're basically putting a halt to that. So all that time is time lost, gaining experience and, and, and elevating yourself inside of your industry, right? Mm -hmm. So there's no recourse for that. You just, you get fucked, yeah. right? Regardless yeah. if anything's true or not. Uh, and the other thing is, the military itself will hit you with family care issues. Like, oh, now you're a single dad. Do you not have a family care plan? No? Well, then you got to get the fuck out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They don't, they don't give two fucks about us. In your case, how did it end up? What was the final result for you? And were you happy with it? Well, there wasn't a final result. I, you know, I, I lost, my sons lost a father. I had two boys, eight and ten. Um, and, you know, to that point, it's spot on. You know, guilty till proven more guilty. The, the ramifications are instant and across the board. And you can't get all of that back. And the one thing you can't get back for the most part is your reputation, because yeah. it's reputation savaging. And, um, you know, it's all documented, it's law enforcement, it's particularly difficult for men and fathers. And, um, you know, so with my situation, my situation, I ended up with writing a book. You know what, I, I heard too many stories similar to mine. When I entered the justice system, I thought, this is America, I'm gonna get justice. I entered the star chamber. And it boggles my mind that, that people in the military have to deal with this. 
Hey, and, and, and law enforcement have to deal with this. Mm -hmm. And it's stunning. It's, it's stunning. So, I mean, if it can happen to me, if it can happen to Johnny Depp, Brad Pitt, Alec Baldwin, Jeremy Renner that's, is going through it now, yeah. and there are yep. mothers as well, it goes through women as well. It's like, it can happen to anyone, and it is, and it has. And this is why we need reform of the legal system. And uh, people are afraid to talk about it. You know, people in high places I've spoken to that are just, uh, they just don't talk about this because it's too dangerous, uh, it's too risky. Well, you know what? So's, so's not talking about it. And mm. there's just too many men who are suffering. You know, I talk about men, there are women too, but there are too many men and fathers uh, who are suffering mental health right now. You know, American men kill themselves four times more than women in regular circumstances. But fathers who become ensnared in the divorce system kill themselves eight times more. So that means for every child who loses their mother to suicide during or after divorce, that's eight children lose a father. And you compound that with... Um, you know, the PTSD, that, that the daily incessant PTSD of being, I don't mean being in the military, but actually on active duty and service and, and, and your life's on the line. And then you've got 4,000 children losing a, losing a parent in family courts every day. It's no wonder that America is the world leader in children growing up in single parent families.